What's up, baby? This is your Bougie Way back again with another video. So today, y'all can see your girl got a new wig on her head, and I am feeling myself. I'm feeling like a whole new gal. You feel me? I don't know what attitude this wig give me, but it, it just give me an attitude. It give me an attitude like, mm, even if I didn't have a man and somebody tried to talk to me, I would tell them I have a man. That's how. That's how that. This, this how that wig make me feel, right? You feel me? Like. Mm, 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 mm. But y'all, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I install this wig. I got this wig from Relook Hair. It's a deep wave, 26 inches, and it is 150. Wait, 150 dollars and 180 density. There we go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all. I'm gonna give y'all a review at the end of this video. So just watch me install this wig, and I get back to y'all. But we are gonna install this wig from Relook Hair. This is the packaging it came in and it came with a complimentary spray bottle have to find it hold on give me two seconds complimentary spray bottle and here's the wig itself right here I ain't gonna lie I attempted to bleach the knots I did not get results but I don't think I left it long enough because I was rushing this is the wig itself so I already wet the hair so this is not the hair fresh out the packet we going to finesse this lace with some makeup. Let me show y'all. This is the hairline. I'm not going to pluck it. I'm going to just leave it just like this. This I feel like this is the tightest ever wig I ever had. This is little head friendly. If you got a little head, this is for you. First, we're going to start off by cutting our lace into three sections. I learned this from Paris Danielle. Shout out to her. I always use this method because I feel like it's easier for me to lay my lace down if I split it up into sections. And then I get my gold spot on glue and I put an even amount of glue on each section and get my popsicle stick and make sure it's flat as possible just so I can get that flat lay when it's time to put the lace down and just so it can dry evenly as well because I hate when you have one part still white and the other part is is clear already and then your your glue is all uneven and you can't lay it right that that just all aggravates me so make sure it's even lady and very 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 even so I do that throughout each section and this is for the first layer I am doing two layers your face bro but we on the second layer so put your second layer after your layer is clear once again make sure the first layer is clear before you put your second layer on top of it And then you lay down your lace section by section. I couldn't catch that clip because I don't know. I don't remember what happened, guys. I just couldn't catch that clip. Something happened there. But get your scarf and you wrap it around. Don't cut your lace just yet. Make sure you wrap it around with a scarf at first so you can get that flat lay before you start cutting. 
And usually when I cut my hair, I like to use a eyebrow razor, but I lost mine. So I'm using a scissor, but I'm making sure I'm going in that zigzag motion, as you can see, just so you won't have that straight line across your head when your lace is laying down. After I get that cut, I get my got to be beauty spray and I pour I put some in my finger and I put it in the front of my lace just so the parts that didn't get glue is laying exactly down how I want it to. After that, I get my scarf and I tie it tight around my head and leave it for about five to 10 minutes. I make sure I blow dry it. In this clip right here, you can see me blow drying it for probably two minutes. And then I leave it for an additional eight minutes. Take your scarf off, you do your baby hairs, do whatever you like. I did my baby hairs off camera, but that's it, y'all. Okay, y'all, that is the end of this install. As you can see, a girl did her thing and slayed this wig. Y'all, this wig is so cute let me show y'all where it goes to my back i told y'all it's 26 inches so it goes can y'all see that not to my butt but mid back i pray y'all can see that but yeah it goes mid back and it's really full and thick all i really put on the hair was some mousse and a little bit of water and it still looks flawless i don't really like that drenched look i would only drench my hair if I know I'm not going to come home in a long time and I'm going to go through a whole day. That's probably when I drench my hair. Real, real cute. Hey, like, look at her. Can I see that? And with shedding with this hair, while I was combing, it's curly hair. It didn't give me too much shedding, like dramatic shedding, but it gave me a little bit of shedding. And especially because I kind of, sort of plucked up here, but I realized that I don't want to do that. So... I didn't pluck it too much. I hear the price. Did y'all did y'all catch the price? Let me let me get an exact price for y'all. Let me let me hold on one second. One second. Let's go on this Amazon app. Amazon Prime. Two day shipping. Stop playing. This wig was $156.99. How can you beat this look for $150 and an extra $6? I had to get on that because that was real cute. And yes, guys, this is not a sponsored video. I bought this wig with my coins. So if you think I am lying, I am not lying to you, okay? I honestly feel like some people try to do months and months and months long with the hair in their head without washing it without taking care of it and all that you gotta take care of your weave for your weave to look the same it's like your real hair your real hair ain't gonna look good if you don't take care of it your weave ain't gonna look good if you let you take care of it simple ladies okay 
But yeah, it's 150. It's 180 density and it has pre it has the pre put natural hairline. Next time I'm going to do 13 by 6 because I kind of fell in love with 13 by 6. 13 by 4 is a little too short for me in my lace front so I like my part to be way back here. But with this wig, I didn't really want to do a part. I just wanted to like do a freestyle, like you know, just serving. What's that? What's that culture? Serving. I don't know if it's Puerto Rican or mixed girl vibe is what I'm trying to serve today. So that's the look I was going for for this Valentine's Day. This video might come out after Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to all the single people and all the people that's in a relationship. Okay, y'all, I think this video got to end real short because my camera just keeps saying card full and I have clips on here that I really need. I'm thinking about trying to finish this on my phone, but this is really annoying me. But y'all, y'all already know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. If y'all feeling this weird, comment down below because I'm feeling it. How y'all feeling it? How y'all feeling it on your girl, okay? I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for the support. And again... Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bougie Bay is definitely out.